Hello and welcome to yet another video of Cornerstones of Math. For today's video, the problem itself is pretty straightforward. We just have to solve the quartic equation x to the power 4 minus 4x cubed plus 5x squared minus 2x minus 12 equals 0. But to make things slightly more interesting, I will present you two methods that can lead to the solutions to this equation. So let's get started. The first method is a bit unorthodox and actually requires some intuition, but I still think many people can actually come up with this method, so I will introduce it first. The key here is focusing on this middle term, 5x squared. And let us also examine the terms on the left and on the right. Here we have x to the power of 4 minus 4x cubed, and here we have minus 2x. Therefore, what we can do here is to split this 5x squared into 4x squared plus x squared. Then we can make this equation to have common parts. This x to the power of 4 minus 4x cubed plus 4x squared is equal to x squared minus 2x squared. So this plus x squared minus 2x minus 12 equals 0. So we have a common part x squared minus 2x where we can apply substitution. Let x squared minus 2x as t, then we have t squared plus t minus 12 equals 0. So t minus 3, t plus 4 equals 0. Therefore, t equals 3 and minus 4. If t equals 3, then x squared minus 2x equals 3, x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0. So x plus 1 times x minus 3 equals 0. Therefore, x equals minus 1 and 3. If t equals minus 4, then x squared minus 2x equals minus 4. So x squared minus 2x plus 4 equals 0. And here we apply the quadratic formula, which gives x equals 2 plus minus square root of 4 minus 4 times 4, so 16, over 2, so 2 plus minus square root of minus 12, so 2 times square root of minus 3, over 2, which is 1 plus minus square root of 3i. Therefore, the roots are minus 1, 3, 1 plus minus square root of 3i. Now let us take a look at the second method, which is more former method that more suits the textbook. That is, we try to factorize the left hand side as far as we can. In order to do that, we need to find some factors. And we can find those factors without having to split this 5x squared term. Instead, we try to guess some roots. For example, let us try x equals 1. Then, the left hand side becomes minus 12, which is non-zero. So x equals 1 is not a root. Well then, let us try x equals minus 1. Then we have 1 plus 4 plus 5 plus 2 minus 12, which is 0. As you can see, x equals minus 1 satisfies the equation. This means that the left hand side has x plus 1 as a factor, so it can be factorized as x plus 1 times something equals 0. In order to find this something, we need to divide this left hand side with x plus 1. And we can use synthetic division for that. So we write the coefficients 1 minus 4, 5 minus 2, and minus 12. And since we are dividing with x plus 1, we write minus 1 here. Then, this 1 just comes down, and minus 1 times 1 gives minus 1. So if we add these two, we have minus 5, and minus 1 times minus 5 gives 5. So we have 10, and minus 1 times 10 gives minus 10. So if we add them up, we have minus 12. And minus 1 times minus 12 gives 12. So if we add, we obtain 0. 
So the quotient is x cubed minus 5x squared plus 10x minus 12, and the remainder is 0 as it should be. Now let us factorize this part. We have to guess another root to find additional factor. And if this polynomial can be factorized, the constant term of the factor must be the divisor of this constant term minus 12. So we can test x equals 2, minus 2, 3, minus 3, etc. And after some test, we can find out that x equals 3 satisfies the equation. Hence, x minus 3 is a factor. So doing the synthetic division again, now coefficients of this polynomial, so 1 minus 5, 10 minus 12, and we are dividing with x minus 3, so 3 here. So this 1 goes down, and 3 times 1 gives 3, so we have minus 2, and 3 times minus 2 gives minus 6, so we have 4, and 3 times 4 gives 12, so we have remainder 0. And the quotient is x squared minus 2x plus 4. Now this part is no longer factorable, but we can just apply quadratic formula for this one. So we have x equals from here minus 1, from here 3, and from here 1 plus minus square root of 3i. And that's all for today's video. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in another video.